And today we're going to talk about being kind and supportive. It is the month of Ramadan and we're supposed to fast so we can reach this level of taqwa. But fasting also is not just fasting from food and drink, but also fasting from anything uh, that is not appropriate Islamically. And we need to keep in mind that we are ordered by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be kind and supportive. And if you look at the life of our Prophet وسلم, he was kind and he was supportive all the time. A lot of people, non-Muslims, became Muslims because of the way they were treated by the Muslims. And we know the story of Rasulullah وسلم, when he helped the old woman to carry her bag to her house. And she didn't know that he was Rasulullah وسلم, and she gave him an advice to stay away from Muhammad. And when she asked him, who are you? He told her, I am Rasulullah. She said, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah. But he was nice to her. He did not ask her whether she is a Muslim or non, not Muslim. For let's use this opportunity, this month of Ramadan, to be kind and to be supportive. It doesn't matter who the people are. We have to be accountable and keep in mind that we are accountable for our actions. And we need to keep in mind also that the fact is we need to treat people the way we want people to treat us. And where do we start? We have to start with ourselves, to be kind to ourselves. And also we have to start with our families and to be kind and supportive for our, our spouses, our children. And also we need to look at the community and to see where we can help and kind to people. Let's go out of our way and see how we can help and support people. Let's keep in mind that this is the month of caring and sharing. Rasulullah sallallahu told us that if you get near and help the people, the poor people, Allah will help you on the day of judgment. But where do we start? We start with ourselves, our families, our communities, and let's practice that all the time. And let's keep in mind what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us. لا يغير الله ما بقوم حتى يغير ما بأنفسهم. But we have to start with uh, with ourselves, and we have to look at the big picture. Why are we fasting? And the fasting is not just the stomach and the mouth, but all everything, including the heart. And the heart. When we're talking about fasting of the heart, also it means we have to be positive, we have to be supportive, and we have to be kind to everybody, even the animals. So we'll end it with the verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell us that fasting was ordained. Let's keep that and the goal in our mind that we need to reach this level of taqwa. But let's do our part and hopefully inshallah all of us will reach this level of taqwa.